Hi, this is David Bowman with Zusa Trout Outfitters and this is a tying instructional video for a bead egg pattern. What I have so far is a size 14 Togan hook. That's a scud hook and I've to go ahead and tied in with some light yellow tan thread size 60. And then what I do is I take some 10 pound test all right, and I'll just tie the 10 pound test line in like if it was ribbing or wire or anything like that and really crank down on that pretty good so it can't pull out. All right, see that that's in there pretty good. Then I'll take some tan dubbing, some Antron dubbing. All right, and I what I do is I make like a a tail out of that and just kind of all right. And what I'll do is I'll let that kind of wrap around the hook, just like that, and pull it pull it so that it's you get all the extra crap out of there. All right. And then I take a little bit of dubbing and I actually dub the hook up forward. And then I take five millimeter Lindy walleye beads. You can get these at Gander Mountain or pretty much any sporting goods store that sells a decent amount of fishing equipment. And I put them on like so. And then, of course, I'll go ahead and capture that. <clears throat> Sorry. Go ahead and get that fishing line caught in. And the best thing to do here is put a couple wraps, then pull your fishing line tight. All right. And then the nice part about this pattern is that I take this tail of dubbing and I'll take a threading tool and I put it through the beads underneath the 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 <clears throat> underneath the 10 pound test there get it through the threading tool pull it through and then wind it up over the top just to disguise the thread a little bit alright and that's that's kind of the basic pattern See that you have two eggs, two beads acting as eggs. The hook is dubbed over. You got the little loop of dubbing that I just pulled through. Now what I'm going to do is I want to take this back as close as I can to the eggs, and that tightens. What that does is that tightens down the monofilament. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I leave a little tag here because. I'll melt that right up tight to the thread with a lighter in a minute. Just really snug that. And then those eggs will hold in place a little better. Or the beads acting as eggs, I should say. Lastly, I just take a whip finish tool here and finish that off like that. Alright, really fuzzy looking. Alright, and last, just take a little Loon Outdoors hard head and put a little dab of that on the top. 
just to prevent that from pulling out. Get that worked in nice on the thread there. And that's it. There's a whole range of colors. You can see they have green, yellow, orange, pink, uh, iridescent red and red. I'll use all these colors to tie up those uh, bead egg patterns, but uh, highly effective, very good for November, December, January, February, you know, clear through March while there are as well, there's not very much in the river but eggs. So, enjoy. Thanks for watching.